Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. In this episode, we're gonna be putting up a gazebo over this hot tub that is right over here. This is a 12 by 12 gazebo that it's a so Sojag model. Um, we'll come over here and we'll take a look at the specs. Comes in two boxes, so let's, let's take a look. Okay, so this is box one of two. Uh, Gen Genova double roof number 53, 12 by 12, sun shelter with galvanized steel roof. And the exact dimensions are 143.7 inches by the same. Uh, we've got a 14 by 14 concrete pad, and we're gonna cover our old hot tub that we have here. Well, this hot tub is something that we've had for about 14 years. Uh, we wanna get this gazebo, oh, we're gonna get the gazebo up over it, and then we're gonna buy a new top for it and kind of refurbish it a little bit. But we've had it a while, it's lasted pretty, pretty long. We've done some repairs, but with, with good maintenance, we, we're gonna keep it another 10 years. Uh, here's the second box. Oddly enough, this big box here weighs 155 pounds, and this tiny little box just weighs 130 pounds. So there's some serious uh, sheet metal in there, I believe for the roof. So we're gonna get started on that. We're going to show the installation of it. We're going to uh, critique how well it's built by us, which means it was built well, but how, uh, how good the structure actually is. And we're also gonna show you how we're gonna bolt it down to this concrete pad so that it doesn't fly away, because it will fly away here in Arizona with our monsoons. So let's, uh, first thing is we're gonna open this box up. We're gonna find the instruction manual, see what kind of tools we need. Okay, we got the box, the lid off, and this is what we first see when we open it. We've got a bunch of screws, nuts, bolts, things with Allen. Looks like it's all Allen wrench stuff. Uh, some sort of, I think that's a side covering. I, I think like typically any thing that you buy that requires a lot of work, they put the uh, instructions on the bottom, I think, to screw with you. So this might be another one of those. Here's something. Here's something over here. All right, here's our instructions. You speak French and or Korean. Nah, uh, we've got English in here, but we got a, quite a few languages. So here, let's see if we can get a view of this. This is what we're going to be looking at, putting up. Oh, we'll we'll get another shot of what it looks like fully assembled. So we're going to go through this. It looks like it's all Allen wrench stuff. So I'm going to grab some of the screws, go into the shop, and uh, make sure I get the right size allen wrenches because i'm not using that manual wrench that they included so i'm also not going to spread out all the parts and make sure i got everything we're just going to go for it uh, i just don't want to spread them out in the dirt and they get stepped on things happen but we've got uh look at notes let's take some notes on how to do this that means that their instructions aren't good if you have to take notes 23 pages uh looks like 15 steps or so so I think the first thing is we're gonna have to pull out after we get our tools we're gonna have to look at page one see what we need not gonna take you through step by step but we're gonna probably put this in a time lapse and we'll stop it here and there and make some comments on different things that we find easy difficult uh, things that aren't explained correctly and whether or not that cop that you hear in the background is coming for us or not anyway uh, let's get some tools and get started on this. Okay.
Okay, uh, so as you can see, we finished with the gazebo. Everything's done. I want to go over a couple points with you. Uh, the hardest part on this is probably some parts of the roof where at the top where the peak comes up, you've got to reach underneath. You've got to have someone on the bottom to hold the nut, and you got to be able to skirt in from the top. Those are not so hard to do, except getting them lined up can be a little bit difficult, but it went together very well. Uh, over a couple of days, uh, squeezing in some time that we had here and there. Uh, everything fits the way it should. It seems very rugged. Each leg has three holes so that you can bolt it down. We've bolted each one down, which you can see here. And uh, we haven't uh, used a grind, grinding wheel to just cut off the edges of those uh, bolts yet, but we're gonna do that. We just use concrete bolts that we got at Home Depot and they went in fairly smoothly, with a little bit of difficulty, uh, just getting them lined up and getting them to stay in, but typical with a concrete bolt. Uh, so we're just gonna cut off the tops of those and those are done. Uh, we This one came with the netting. This goes all the way around, completely encloses it, and got a zipper on every side, so you can open up whatever side you want. Right now we have two sides open, two sides closed, and uh, very relaxing sitting here in the hot tub without the sun blaring in my eyes. Not that I think I'm gonna sit in this thing in the summertime when it's 115 degrees, but this uh, this is real nice. Nice bit of shade, very sturdy. It also has a, a netting at the top, which we'll show you also. So you can be completely enclosed from the bugs. There's no way for them to get in. Uh, we're gonna probably mount the electrical uh, box on one of the posts uh, on the side and that way we can plug in the hot tub without tripping over the wire. And the other thing we're gonna do is be able to plug in, maybe put a couple LED lights at the top. And I think that'll, that'll look nice. So overall, uh, I like this, it looks good. It's gonna stay in with the wind. We have gusts out here for monsoons. That can be pretty pretty bad. Just come out of these micro bursts that come through with 80 mile per hours or these little, little mini dust devils that we get. And they come through here kind of often. But it's going to hold everything in. We we actually those mini dust devils, a trampoline that we had. We actually had that take off last year, and I had to pull it out of my neighbor's tree. It's a pretty big trampoline, but it it just took off and it landed in my neighbor's tree, and it took like four of us to get it out of the tree. It was about 10, 15 feet up in the air. Uh, but I don't think this gazebo is going anywhere. We've got about 12 bolts in it uh, into a concrete slab with. You know, the concrete slab's not going anywhere, neither is the hot tub. So this is pretty good. I like it. I've got a nice bit of shade to sit in my hot tub, drink a beer. Why don't I have a beer? Anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, uh, go ahead and put something down in the, in the comments. Hit the like button, because I know you like this video. And then go ahead and subscribe so you can get some more awesome content by us at Bears Workshop. Thanks for watching.